smashing success. <laughs> Who's the better driver? Me? <laughs> or you? All right. Let's get it on and find out. I got friends at City Hall. <laughs> Try again. This is the old Adams Ranch. Oh, do you live around here? Nobody does. We just race around here every once in a while. Hey, that sounds like fun. How about racing me? I think you've just been challenged. What? Are you kidding? You want to race me with this? I'll put my cassette up against one of yours. You'll lose it. Listen to him, Connie. Big man. Oh, Paul, just sit there and cool it. You do sound pretty sure of yourself. I guess it's just my nature. And my car. How about from here to that tree? <laughs> Think this thing's gonna make it? Let's find out. Whenever you say go. Aren't you afraid I'll get the jump on you that way? I trust you. One, two, three, go! better than I thought she would. Mm-hmm. You'd say that if she never left the storyline. There's no contest, Spence. I know. Hey, this thing's pretty quick. Well, congratulations. Thanks. No, I don't mind admitting, you were pretty good. Yeah. And you were pretty lucky. Oh, ignore Paul. He's a typical kid brother. No, really, you were great. I mean, if we hadn't hit that rut back there, you know. Here, you didn't have a chance anyway. Oh, no way, Jose. Vince is right. Take it. No, a deal's a deal. Come on, it's like ripping you off. Hey, if he really doesn't want the tape, Connie. Well, okay, but on one condition. What, if we go disco dancing tonight? No, but I win it back. A rematch? But what are we gonna put up? That's the only tape we had. Yeah, we've only got the stereo. Hey, I got it. How about my stereo against all your cassettes? Uh, nothing personal, Connie, but... That's really bananas. Lori's right. Listen, I'm gonna save you from yourself. You are? How? By grabbing something to eat. Down at the beach. Come on, Vince, let's go. Where are you going? Rick's place. Skateboards, surfboards, and stomach aches. Sounds wonderful. Whatever you do, don't order the broccoli shake. Eh. Ah. Might as well find a pinball machine. Least I can hustle a few bucks with my magnet. Forget the pinball. We're going after the big stuff. Oh, yeah? Where? At Rick's place, Turkey. Don't you see? I got this Vince kid hooked. Mm -hmm. 
Sorry. Thanks, Ross. No problem. I should have raced her for a date. If I would have won, she'd get to go out with me. If I'd have lost, she'd have to go out with you. Listen, Burt Reynolds, if you were so great, you would have won a date and a stereo. What do I want with her stereo? I've already got one. Yeah, but I don't. I mean, a stereo is just what the Grossmobile needs. You know, give it a little class. Yeah, right. It'll take more than a tape deck to do that. Oh, funny. Ooh. Uh, take it for a spin, Lori. Thanks. Don't mind if I do. Well, there's a lot of fun left in that old girl. Yeah. And also in the pinball machine. Um, I wasn't going to bring this up, Vince, but, um, remember when uh, your dual quads went to the big junkyard in the sky? Wait a minute, Ross. And remember who got you those used ones for next to nothing? Okay, all right. I owe you one. Uh -huh. Don't you have to get back and finish that valve job? Mm. Uh, it sounds like Ross is more interested in promoting a race. Well, Vince, hi. Hi, Connie. How you doing? Connie? This is Connie? How can, how can you possibly say this lady looks like a catfish? You don't even have whiskers. <laughs> Ignore him. He's got smog in the brain. I'm working on too many cars. Yeah, well, I think he's cute. No, I'm Ross, and, and this is Rick. Uh, hi. hi. This is uh, my little brother, Paul. How you doing? Hi. Hey, I'm glad you found us. Yeah, so am I. You know, we're destined to race again. Vince. Yeah, it's written in the stars. I can see it. Not through my telescope, you can. The only thing I can see is a fat, juicy, rare cheeseburger. How about it, Rick? Sure, if you want to poison yourself. I want to, I want to. <laughs> Great score. Thanks. Anybody ever beat you? Not often. How about me taking a shot? <laughs> Be my guest. Hey, let's make this a little more interesting. Interesting? Yeah, like five bucks. Sorry, I only have a dollar. That's okay. You're on for a buck. But Vince, Connie wants to race. What do you think's gonna make her happy, racing or not racing? Racing, definitely racing. Why would I want to make her happy? Well, what about me? Don't you care about my happiness? <laughs> Ross, you really want to know? Okay, if that's the way you're gonna be, the engagement's off. Fine. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Aren't the stakes a little lopsided? I mean, a few tapes against a whole stereo? No. Rick, it is my stereo. Yeah. Hold it, hold it. I'm gonna make my life a little simpler. You give your stereo to Ross, and that's it. <laughs> Great idea! Oh, boy, that's a cop-out if I ever heard one, isn't it? Cop-out? Well, yeah, kind of is, Connie. I think he's a little anti-feminist. I am not. Yeah, when was the last time you wore a dress? Come on, Ross, knock it off. You know something, Ross is right. You know, uh, I think he's afraid of losing to a girl. Afraid? Okay. You got yourself a race. Same place. All right. Oh, wait a second. I still say the stakes are lopsided. Never mind. It's music to my ears. Here, and a stereo for the Grossmobile. I'm glad you don't wear a dress. I've seen your legs. Later on. You didn't beat me. You annihilated me. See, Vince, I told you it was destiny. Come on, Paul. Let's split. Oh, yeah, I'll be right there. I'll, uh, see you out at the strip, Vince. Hey, what's your hurry? I just got my burger. Hey, take your time. You're gonna need your nourishment. Better luck next time. Put it this side of Bruce Jenner, all right? Right, yeah. Hey, I thought you were on your way to the state finals. Yeah, I'm going now. I just want to check on my valve job. Oh, you need one, too? I thought it was just your car. <laughs> Ross. Oh, sorry. Hey, uh, wheel's gonna be ready tomorrow, right? Nope. Ross, now, I warned you about getting it done on time. Today. It's gonna be ready today. I'm almost finished. Oh, are you just jerking my chain? Yeah. Huh? All right, good. Listen, I'll pick it up tomorrow after I win the championship. All right, man, it'll be here. Wish me luck. Hey, you're not going to need any, man. You're going to burn your name into the record books. Hey, maybe they'll make a cereal commercial about you. Hey, I like that, Ross. All right, yeah, I can see it now. Uh, uh, Macho Crumbly's Breakfast for Arm Brewsters. Guaranteed to put shot in your putt. Woo! You know where to reach me. Jive and turkey. Do you think they'll notice we replaced the wheels with racing slicks, have dual quads, and a turbocharger raring to go? Hey, when they come, you think I should holler a surprise? If you paid attention, you'd see you don't have to. 
You were wrong, Vince. Looks like your catfish just turned into a barracuda. Now let's get off the road. I don't want anybody hurt. All right? Let's get this thing going. <laughs> Yeah, she's good. It's not easy to throw a race without making it obvious. What? Look, Laura, I don't want to rain on Vince's parade, but uh, tell him I got to talk to him when he gets back. It's important. You want to race me for my car? I know you're crazy, lady, but I'm not. But you just got to give me another chance, Vince. You just give me the tape deck and I'll forget we ever knew each other. OK, here. Look, Vince, I was just giving myself a fighting chance. I think you're afraid you'll lose. Afraid? Come on, I, I just beat your best shot. And I'm not gonna race you again, all right? And I wouldn't risk my wheels for anything. Yeah, shine him on, Connie. He knows he'd be pushing his luck. Huh, <laughs> right. Let's go, Lori. Vince, I hope you change your mind. Oh, don't worry about it. Maybe we lost the stereo this time. No, we never have before. Come on, let's go find Ross's garage. Why? <laughs> Boy, are you out to lunch. Ross is going to talk Vince into putting up his car. Come on. Where do you want to go? Let's go to Rick's place. Oh, he wants to talk to you anyway. OK. There you go, babe. Thanks, Rick. You're just great with your hands. Yeah, Rick, you're just great. Hey, Rick. Lori said you wanted to see me about something. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you about the race. Oh, uh, come on. You don't think she threw it, do you? Well, that's the way car hustles operate, Vince. They let you win the little ones in order to suck you into betting your car. Then they blow you away. Get serious, Rick. She didn't let me win. I beat her. Hey, Vince. Hey, Jeff. What's going on? Not much. How you doing? How you doing, man? Hey, uh, I heard you took on a lady in a sleeper car. Twice. For a uh, tape and then her stereo? Yeah. Hmm. Does she have a kid brother hanging around with her? Yeah. Well, I hope you're not going to bitter your wheels. No way. But if I did, I'd take her again. Oh, yeah? Why do you think I've been getting around on this lately? She burned me for my wheels three months ago in Long Beach. She's got a turbo in that sleeper. Turbo charge? Yeah. How come I won? Don't answer that. I think I know. Vince? Win my stereo? Yeah. Yeah, all right, all right. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, wow, sorry. Hey, uh, what can I do for you? Oh, uh, we just stopped by to say hello. This is a real nice garage. Is it yours? Yeah, well, not really. A guy lets me borrow the space. Uh, it's kind of a hobby with me when I'm not too busy teaching Cheryl Teagues how to kiss. You think you can unpucker long enough to help me with my old clunker? Sorry, uh, I'm just a mechanic. What this needs is an undertaker. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty old and beat up. Yeah. Hey, you wouldn't want to swap it for this one, would you? <laughs> no. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, just checking out the finish. I bet it's all show and no go. Huh, let me tell you something, kid. This car is swift. I mean, real swift. Oh, yeah? Swifter than ours? Ha! What is it? Look at that thing. Sound awful sure. What are you, a comedian? Sure, I'm sure. Yeah? How sure? Huh. You just wait right here. You want to put up my car in a race where I'm not driving? Come on, Rod. Your car would take this with anybody driving it. 
fact, it would take it with nobody driving it. That's what you say. Come on, you should see your car. It's a real junker. The registration list, the color is rust. Well, if it's that bad, what's the point in winning it? In parts alone, it's got to be worth one, 200 bucks. We'll split it. Ross, the valve job you're doing is costing me more than that. Hey, I got it. You get the valve job free and I get the junker. Now, how's that for a deal, Rod? Man, you can't go wrong. Now, come on, say yes. You're bugging me, Ross. You sound like my mother. But, Rod, Vince beat her twice. Vince beat her? Well, why didn't you say so? My car's a lot faster than Vince's. Now you're talking, big fella. Okay. I get the freebie and you get the race. All right. Oh, and Ross, listen, by some chance you should lose, I'll take your gross mobile after I take your head. Hey, relax, Rod, man. It's a piece of cake. Later. Woo! You got yourself a race, good looking. All right. And I'm going to show you how fast that car really is. All right. Woohoo! Wee! <laughs> Let's do Rick a favor and clean up our mess for a change. Thanks, Lori. Good idea. Uh, Vince, don't strain yourself. Hey, somebody's got a supervise, right? You missed this. Ross! Hey, Ross. Like that stereo I won for you? I lost it. What? Stereo? Arm Brewster's car. Connie, you raced her for it? When Arm Brewster finds out what happened, he's gonna. He's gonna kill me. He's gonna. He's gonna set a new shot put record with my head. I don't believe it. I don't wanna believe it. We've gotta do something. Yeah. Smuggle me out of the country before I'm the first person to die from a new disease. Terminal arm Brewster. Where's Connie now? She said something about being at the park playing volleyball. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Lori, will you watch the place again? Thanks. Come on. Come on, buddy. We'll get that car. Go! No. All right. When are you going to learn to keep your eyes on the ball? <laughs> What's the difference? As far as you're concerned, I don't do anything right. Oh, don't be so sensitive. Are you sure Vince is going to show? Of course. Why do you think I let Ross see us here? Here comes Vince now. There she is. Well, if it isn't little Miss Ripa, this time you've gone too far. Hey, nobody forced Ross to race. Yeah, well, we need Armistice's car back. Okay, providing you win. What? One more race. Your car for Arm Brewsters. You pick the time and place. Vince, wait. Now, you know how much that car means to you. Tell me about it. I'm the one that worked and sweated for three years to buy it. But it looks like I don't have a choice. But she'll blow you away, man. Don't you see? You know what she's got under that hood. What? A turbo. That's it? I can have one on your car before you know it. At least before she knows it. That's no guarantee. Vince, don't be crazy. Don't bet your wheels. Rick, I know you're concerned and I appreciate it. But somebody's got to teach her a lesson. Stop her from ripping off any more kids. Yeah. I got to put her out of business. Connie? Well? OK. I'll put up my car for Armbruster's and yours. Let's even that up a little. Throw in the Grossmobile. You got it. What she does? The Grossmobile, too? Hey, take it or leave it. You got a deal, Connie. The old Adams Ranch, tomorrow afternoon. What's the matter with today? Well, it'll take time to set up. Right, guys? Right. right. Now, to make it fair, we'll have three events. Two out of three takes it. What do you say? You got yourself a race. Let's move it out. We got a turbo to install. You got to find one first. What? You said that... I didn't say I had one. Man, Ross. How much? I can get one for about 200 bucks. 200 bucks? Where are we going to come up with that? Oh, wait a minute. Don't look at me, man. Oh, this is great. Now we're going to lose three cars. Yours, mine, and Armbruster's. And my head. Don't forget my head. Hang on, darling. Duty calls. Here, boss. Here you go, killer. Thanks a lot, Red. Hey, I gotta tell you guys, it's really nice to spend the last remaining hours of my life with my friends. <laughs> Arm Brewster, I am about to die. Salute you. <sighs> Hit me again. You've already inhaled six of those things. Just drowning my sorrows. With ginger ale? I have to. He's out of root beer. At least have something good for you, like a desiccated liver shake. Oh, sure, why not? I've got nothing to live for anyway. I mean, I'd rather be killed by desiccated liver today than Arm Brewster tomorrow. It's got to be less painful. 
If we can come up with 200 for that turbocharger, you won't have to worry about Arm Brewster. Yeah, and the very least he's gonna do if we don't come up with one is, like, give me a compound fracture of the body. If I had a sledgehammer, I'd do it myself. That's it, a sledgehammer, yeah! Hey, man, I was only kidding. Well, not you, Nutcake. We go to Pete's junkyard and pick up one of his old clunkers, and we charge the kids to beat it to death. Hey, yeah! A psycho bash! Psycho killers! Psycho killers! That ought to bring 200 in easy! Yeah! Terrific, great way to let off steam. Yeah, I'm glad I thought of it. Come on, let's go! Wait, hey, what about my uh, liver shake? Uh, take two aspirin and call me in the morning. Come on, let's see if Pete will get us that bunker. Okay. Hey, maybe we can threaten him with the liver shake. <laughs> Now what? What do you call this thing? A psycho bash. Listen, Pete, all we need is one of your junkers out of your salvage yard. Nothing too beat up, though. Yeah, so that way the kids have something left to hit. Yeah, and Pete, we're gonna give you a big sign giving you publicity. How big? Big. As big as a tombstone. <laughs> Which I'm gonna be in the market for if you don't come through. Please, Pete. Really? <laughs> all right. I'll tell you what, there'll be one over here for you in the morning. All, all right. right. I can stop yeah. drinking embalming fluid. But you kids are going to have to tow it away yourself because I'm going fishing at the pier first thing in the morning. Yeah, that's no sweat. I got a tow bar in the grossmobile. Right. Thanks a lot, Pete. Sure. Really? Right. Thanks a lot. Say, Vince. Yeah. Can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, sure, man. What's up? Vince, about this business of racing for your car, do you really think it's a good idea? I don't want to talk about it. It's just something I have to do. Nobody has to do anything. But, Pete, you don't understand. I understand you could lose your car. I swear, Vince, sometimes I think you kids today are crazy. Yeah, Pete, but this chick makes a living ripping off kids for their cars. Somebody's got to stop her. I understand how you feel, and I got a world of respect for what you're trying to do, but have you thought about your parents? How are they going to feel if you lose your car? You probably burn my birth certificate. But I'm doing everything I can to make sure I don't lose. Yeah? Well, good luck. I hope everything works out for you. Me too. Uh, there is more fun on your feet, Paul. Well, like they say, different strokes. Watch try up here. Free introductory offer. Nah, skating is not my rep. <sighs> my thing. Besides, there's no percentage yet. <laughs> Aren't you a little young to be worrying about percentages? Aren't you a little old not to be? Score a one for the munchkin. Hey, listen, Rick. Can you give me some change? Sure. I want to play the pinball machine. Just for amusement, right? Right. Nothing amuses me more than demolishing somebody at pinball. You really like to win that much, don't you, Paul? Have they come up with something better? Well, winning is important. But you know what I admire the most in a guy? No, but I have the feeling you're going to tell me. The guy who says, it's not whether you win or lose, but how you play the game. It's true, Paul. You know, I know the people you mean. They've even got a name for them. Losers. Rick, can you get me some knee pads? Oh, anything you want, babe. Knee pads, skates. Let's see. What size? Small. Uh, can you give me a hand putting them on? Oh, I'd love to give you a hand putting them uh, on. Rick, how about that change? Oh. You mean to say you don't know how to put on a pair of knee pads by yourself? Of course I know how to put on knee pads. I just uh, think it would be more fun if you helped me. <laughs> uh, Lisa? Could I interest you in a game? No, but, uh, you could. I'll see you around, okay? Oh, right. right uh, don't forget your knee pads. You'll find out something really interesting about this shake, Paul. Yeah? What? Ah, uh, the taste really grows on you after about five or six of them. <laughs> Connie seems to love them. You must sell a lot of these. Uh, broccoli shakes? No, not really. I'm kind of glad I ordered them. They're really pretty good, aren't they, Paul? Tastes like my socks. <laughs> mm. You'll have to excuse his manners, Rick. That's cool. Nobody says he's got to like them. Yeah, like nobody says you have to like me, right? Hey, look, it's just what you do that I don't like. I'm just making a living. There are other ways to do that. This is the only way I know. Connie, you're a charming, intelligent, and beautiful girl. There are lots of things you could be successful at if you wanted to. But they wouldn't be as much fun, would they? We're gonna have a psycho badge. Psycho badge. Hey, 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 Rick, mind if I paper your wall with a few posters? Knock yourself out, Vince. Hiya, Vince. 
Well, if it isn't the little old lady from Pasadena. Vince. Hey, Lori. Want to take on the pinball wizard? Luga. You wiped me out last time. Go ahead, Lori. Winner takes all. If you say so. Sure, why not? I'll go first. Thanks, Rick. Don't mention it. You raising money? For what? Let's just say it's for a good cause. Once Pete bring in the car. No, he's not. He's going fishing, but Ross is adjusting the tow bar. We'll have it sometime in the morning. Well, I got the course pretty well figured out. Great. First it's gonna be a road rally, then an obstacle course, and finally a sprint. Two out of three takes it. Any objections? Not unless Vince does. Vince doesn't. As long as Rick's there to officiate. All you have to do is bring your stopwatch and make sure everything's on the up and up. I wouldn't miss it for the world. You lost! I beat you. Look at that score. <laughs> I beat her. Big deal. Only by five points. Last time you blew me away. Oh, forget last time. You lost, Buck. We pay up. Sorry, Rick. No sweat, Rick. Come on, we better jam. Got more posts. <laughs> Catch you later, Rick. Okay. I beat her anyway. Without any outside help. Cost you two bucks to find out. I think it was a good investment. I'll be with you in a minute, Frank. I just gotta put this sign on this junker here. Now take me to the pier. I know we're limited today, and I feel lucky. Connie, you're gonna win. Why do this? Same reason you use the magnet. I want the edge. Those kids get the money for that turbo, I lose it. I don't know. This just doesn't seem right. What has gotten into you? Come on and help me with this clunker. Later, you're gonna take a little trip to the pier. Okay, tell you what I'm gonna do. You say you want more for your money? I'm gonna give you a special incentive. Here we go. Yes. The first person to buy three Psycho Bash tickets gets to go to a rock concert with me. Hey, you buy six of them, you get to go without him, right? <laughs> Very funny. Come on, people. Buy them by the bunches. Yes, sirree. It's all for a good cause. What good cause? Simple-minded destructiveness. <laughs> all right. Now, for the next person who buys a ticket, gets a free lube plus a major tune-up free. <laughs> This offer's good for American skateboards only. <laughs> Come on, folks, time's running out. We have a hundred or more tickets to sell, and we've got to get rid of them. Boy, we'll you get motivated. Yeah, nothing like a good shot of the arm booster booster. Hey, Ross. Hey, we're getting there, man. All right. All right, and remember, for every bash you buy, it's one less bash I get. <laughs> Fun I've had for a dollar since I ran to the boys' shower on a bed. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey. right. oh, got almost half already. We All are right. on our way. Come on, folks, gather around. Let out your hostilities. Think of that rotten teacher who flunked you, your pesky kid brother. Come on, get in there and bash. Yes, sir. One inflated dollar gets you three bashes. Hey, guys, nice turnout. Thanks. Yes, you can say it's a smashing success. <laughs> Yeah, let's have a lot of fun. Oh, it is. Would you like to buy a ticket? No, no, stop! Oh, Give me that hammer! What's the matter with you, maniac? Which car? When he drives? The one he used to drive. How could that have happened? Guess. Oh, man. Well, what are we going to do now? Anybody know a good body and fender man? Hey, Ross, how much money have we got? I hope it's enough for a cheap lawyer. I don't believe it. There's dance in the dance. All right, now, please calm down. There's an explanation. Well, I'd like to know what it is. Come on, I got an idea. You rotten kids! You took the wrong car! Just look, look, Pete. Hey, it's all right, Rick. Listen, I know how it looks. Looks? It looks like Lawrence Welk's accordion. That's what it looks like. Look, Pete, we have a surprise for you. Yeah, yeah, you're going to love it. Oh, yeah, yeah, like I love a root canal. I'm calling the cops. Look away, Pete. Listen. We'll give you this Mustang in exchange for your car. This but car? You're going to give me this pretty little car? 
Well, it's a classic. I know. A little body work, some paint, she'll be as pretty as a speckled pup. Worth big money. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but if you call the cops, then... I'll take it. Well, not now. This afternoon. Well, maybe I just better call the cops. Oh, come on, Pete. Listen, we made a terrible mistake, but, I mean, it's done. Yeah, Pete, what do you got to lose? How do I know you'll deliver? Pete, if we don't deliver, we'll, we'll, we'll give you the Grossmobile. Oh, man. Oh, you will? Okay. Okay, you got yourself a deal. All right. But I'd rather have this one. I know. Vince, how many people are going to own my car? What's the difference? The only transportation we'll be needing is our hearse. But Pete's going to kill me, and Arm Brewster's going to kill you. Arm Brewster. Oh, man, I forgot all about him. He's coming back this morning. What? What am I going to do if he finds me? Scream a lot. You better start now. Ross. Where's my car? <laughs> Ross, it wasn't at your garage. Well, of course not. You see, um, uh, you see, I knew you were coming back into town and I went up looking real sharp for you, so it's out getting washed and, uh, wax. Wax, right, right. Yeah, it's gonna look like a million bucks, but it's not gonna be ready for a while. Well, that was pretty nice of you, Ross. Yeah, you know, Ross got a big heart. Yeah. Hey, Ben! I need some change. On my way. Hey, where's it getting whacked? All over the hood, the trunk. But right now, I need your help. For what? Um, to get the prices down. You see, uh, I gotta get a turbo for Vince's car, and you're so good at haggling prices. Since when? You're not? Well, but don't, don't let it bother you. I mean, uh, it's okay. I mean, I'll take care of it myself. No! Ah, uh, come on, Pete. Your last chance. That's what you said this morning when I gave you the junker. How was your last chance, you said? No, looking back, that was our next to last chance. Look, Pete, you're in the soup as much as we are. Which I wouldn't be if I hadn't held out a helping hand. I'm in the soup because you pulled me in. Pete, it's only 53 bucks. Yeah, we almost earned 150 from the cycle bath. Yeah, how about that? I'll tell you about that. Only leaves you about $50 short. That's how about that. <laughs> how about that? A three-car collision. How about that? Pete, the object of the game is to avoid collisions. Well, you play your way and I'll play mine. How can you argue with a guy like this? The cold, logical man, you use cold, logical facts. Right. Go ahead. Right. Since when am I the cold, logical facts department? Oh, I think I may have a solution. Maybe I'll talk to my lawyer. Wait, Wait, no, 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 it's no. only 50 bucks, a measly 50 bucks. I mean, you're making an investment. I'd be safer investing in a burning building. All right. The cold, logical, hard facts are... We're $50 short from getting a turbo charger. And I installed it in Vince's car. He beats the competition. You get Connie's classic car. Arm Brewster keeps his car. Vince keeps his car, and I stay alive. What do you think of that? And you call that cold logic? Not really. I, I mean, uh, yeah, sure. W yeah. What's wrong with it? Maybe I will call my lawyer. Lord. Hey, wait, Pete, no, please. Hey, you're messing with a driver. Don't you know how dangerous that can be? I got him. No thanks to you. Sure, there's no way we can talk you into it? No. Well, there's one last argument I haven't tried. What? Pete, please! Oh. Armbrus is gonna kill me! I'll be your friend forever! I'm not gonna get on my knees, please! Please, you're my last He's getting me. hysterical! What do I need? Please. Please. Quick, force $50 on it. Yeah, 50! 50! Oh. Look, I promise it's not gonna be much longer, Rod. You've been telling me that for the last two hours. Yeah, well, I told you I had to install Vince's turbo first. No patience. The doctor's almost done. I hope so, Ross. We're gonna have to leave whether you're done or not. Done. Vince, you got yourself a killer. That's what I'm gonna be, grease jockey. I'm tired of waiting. You know, someday you're gonna look back on this and you're gonna say, I'm tired of waiting. Come on, let's go get your car. Well, what are you standing around for? Come on, move it. I haven't got all day. Very funny, Ross. Got me in stitches. Uh, Rod, do me a favor. Don't mention stitches. All right, you guys, listen up. Now, the first heat is a road rally. Speed isn't the main thing here, but following directions and navigation are. If you speed or break the law, you're disqualified. Okay, your time begins the moment I give you your instructions. Any questions? None here. Okay, Connie, you're up first. 
Now, here are instructions. I want you to follow them carefully. Okay. Your time starts now. Hey, Vince, don't get lost. <laughs> something up her sleeve. Isn't that her stock and trade? We're both gonna have to keep our eyes open. Right. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Let's jam. Take her, you guys. Doing here? Just a quick stop, Rod. It's National Clean Car Week. Ross, I'm, I'm starting to get mad. And, and you know what I'm like when I get mad. Well, don't get mad. It's just going to be a couple seconds. Give it a quick once-over. It's the only drawback with the Grossmobile. It gets dirt everywhere. Come on, Ross. Yeah, it gets on the floor. It's terrible. It gets on the seats. Look out for the keys! You dumb little wimp. No, you're lucky you're too big to fit in that hose. Take it easy, Rod. There's got to be a simple way out of this. Have you thought about an ambulance? Yeah. Huh. Okay, let's get moving. I don't know where they could be. Where they come now? Oh. <laughs> hey, Vince, what took you so long? When you lose, you lose big, Vince. Where you been, man? She beat you by five minutes. Convincing a cop I own my car. Somebody with a CB reported it stolen. Okay, forget that. Now, you lost the first heat, which means you got to win this one, Vince, or it's all over. Tell me about it. Okay, we'll go with the obstacle race next, all right? It's very simple. The rules are easy. You stay inside the cones. Every cone that you hit will add three seconds to your time. At the end of the cones, there's a dirt road for a while. You stay on that road. The arrow at the fork of the road will guide you right back here. Connie, you're first again. Okay. Let's go, guys. I got another chance. Don't blow it. When we get to the fork in the road, you get out and turn the arrow around. Why do you want to cheat? We already took the first heat. Yeah, and I'm going to win the whole thing by taking this one now. Come on. Okay, Connie. Go! for two faults, three minutes, 33 seconds. Good luck, Vince. Yeah. Listen, it's a pretty tough course. You better be careful. I don't want your car all scratched up when I get it. I'm telling you, Rod, this is very unnecessary. Well, how else are we going to get the keys, Ross? Whew. Well, you can't find them in there. What do you mean we can't find them? Hey. They gotta be in here someplace. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more there, Rod. Oh, watch the door, you dumb little creep! Operator, give me the police. Yes, it's an emergency. Three minutes, 33 seconds. We're really gonna have to move, Vince. Yeah, just keep me posted on the time. Wish me luck. Go!
28 seconds, Connie. Hey, Connie, you wasted your time. I never did believe in signs. Ha <laughs> ha. We gotta take the sprint pole. So take it, you're driving. I think it's time for the tire treatment. I don't want to do that, Connie. Look, what is with you? Ever since you met these kids, you've been acting weird. Now look, if we lose this, it's back to hitchhiking again. The ice picks under the seat. Way to go, Vince. Thanks. All right. How could I lose with a great navigator and a great driver? Oh, yeah? Yeah, but it's a good thing you spend so much time here, Vince. What difference does that make? Well, Connie decided to get cute and reverse the arrow. Forget it. I won anyway. No, we're not forgetting anything. It's time that lady and I have a talk. Right now. Think it'll do any good? The adjustments? No, we're talking to Connie. Mm -hmm. What's the difference? The sprints are straight away. It's all out in the open. I mean, what could Connie possibly do next? Hi. Hello, Connie. Come to wish me luck? Yeah. It was luck you depended on instead of dirty tricks. I only do what I have to to win. Winning means that much to you, huh? It means everything. You should understand that, Rick. You're a winner. I knew that the first time I saw you. Oh, really? Sure. You know, I do have a life aside from racing. A private life. What are you getting at, Connie? You're an attractive guy, Rick. I just thought that maybe there was something you found attractive about me. Physically, yes. But what a woman is inside is more important to me than what she looks like. Okay, so I'm a car hustler. Does it make me all that bad? Yeah. And I'm warning you, Connie. This sprint race is no place for dirty tricks. Because I don't want any of my friends getting hurt. I got a phone call saying there was something fishy going on here. Officer, it's just a simple misunderstanding. Yeah, he's simple and I'm misunderstood. <laughs> it's a little levity. Well, I guess you haven't broken any laws. But I want you to get in that thing, get out of here, and don't come back. But we haven't found the keys yet. I called you a tow truck, but it'll cost you. Oh, the keys, the keys. Forgot to tell you. Just as the officer was pulling up, found the keys in that pile of yuck. Good. Use them. Good idea, good well, idea. Officer, really, you, very much. you are the best. You are, really. Thanks for coming, really. Sure, really. We appreciate your help. This one decides it. The winner of this race wins a whole enchilada. OK, sorry, Vince, but that turbo is not going to win it for you. You're right. Our cars are about even. But what it's going to come down to is who's the better driver, me <laughs> or you? All right. Let's get it on and find out.
picture. Nobody does wax jobs like this anymore, I'm telling you. We gotta shine on that thing. Doesn't look any different to me. That's the beauty of it. Leaves your card just as you remembered it. Hey, someday, Wimp, I'm gonna find out what went on here. Right on, Rock. All right! Hey, Seven right. Traffic, Our bruise right. no problem. Ooh, Lori, how are you doing? All right. Russ, what happened to you? I went to a sale. Everything was dirt cheap. <laughs> hey, thanks, buddy. If it hadn't been for that turbo. I did it all for the money. You guys saved me millions in plastic surgery, you know. <laughs> thanks for nothing, Paul. Sorry, Connie. Too many people are on. I couldn't get near his car. You can't do anything right, can you? I just did. Because you know what? I wouldn't have used that ice pick even if I could have. Hey, Paul. Your pinball magnet. <laughs> yeah. What would I want with something like this? Hey, Connie. I think you owe me something. Yeah. Oh. Hey, um, you ever want to visit your wheels? They'll be at Pete's. You know, you ought to be more careful, Vince. Next time, you might not be so lucky. I don't think there's going to be a next time. Hey, Connie, uh, race you to the bus stop. My tennis shoe's against yours. The bus stop? No, I think I'm going to go in style. Come on, Paul. Uh, sorry, Connie. I don't dig this kind of life anymore. Like I said, ever since you met these kids. Well, I'll talk to you about it later, Paul. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey, I've been thinking, pal. Yeah? Now that you got that turbo, I think we can make a little uh, extra uh, money. That's the last time I risk my wheels, even for you. Hey, never hurts to ask, right? Connie just lost two cars and got put out of business. Bet she learned her lesson. Yeah, she learned her lesson, all right. And I'm glad I taught it to her. You know, in a few years from now, she uh, might... Vince, check out Arm Brewster. Are you kidding? You know how to shoot pool? Oh, not really, but I'd love to learn. Isn't there a game called Seven Ball or something? Eight Ball. That's it. Well, how about if I give you some lessons? Oh, that sounds like fun. Nice car. She learned her lesson, all right. I'm glad I was the one who taught it to her. You know, years from now, 